The House of Representatives just passed two bills to make abortion a federally protected right, but because of what happened in the Senate last night, these bills likely will not become law. First, what happened just a few minutes ago. The House just passed a bill that would federally protect a right to an abortion, and another bill that guarantees the right to travel to another state to get an abortion if it's illegal in the state where you live. Now, both of those votes were passed generally right along party lines. I have specifics of each of the votes on my website. But here's where the Senate comes in, and this is important. Late last night, the Senate took up a bill that would federally protect the right to travel between states to access abortion services. Of course, the Constitution allows for the freedom to travel between states However, several states right now are working to pass laws that would punish a woman for traveling to another state to get an abortion. The bill that the Senate took up last night would prohibit states from punishing anyone for traveling out of the state to get an abortion if those state bills actually become law. Senate Democrats were trying to quickly pass this bill under what's called unanimous consent, but under that procedure, just one senator who objects can stop it from moving forward. And a Republican from Oklahoma did just that. So the reality is, regardless of the two bills that just passed the House a few minutes ago, last night's action further proves the Senate, with this particular makeup of lawmakers, will likely not take any action on abortion.